lot of opportunities out there. There is lack of employees too. So once you get in the field, it's good to find what you really like. There is a lot of branches that you can um, go into. So just find what you really like about the construction field, you know, and be good at it. You can do demolition. Uh, you get heavy equipment training as well when you reach, you know, certain amount of hours. Also, you can be a laborer. You can open your own business. You can do interiors. Uh, not only design, but you can do uh, interior renovations. The pay is really good as well. So, you know, compensation is good, so it's important. Students will go through a theory class. Basically, they understand uh, the basics of concrete, the components of it, also um, uses, uh, careers uh, that they can uh, develop later on once they start doing their hands-on. Um, after that, they will come in into the school actually to do their hands-on. That's where they learn how to set up a block, brick, how to do slump tests, how to mix concrete, uh, footings, also uh, slabs. They're going to learn that as well. They get their, you know, safety equipment once they come in. So everything they do, it's done safely. Um, but once they reach the amount of hours that they need to get heavy equipment training, uh, they'll be doing bobcat, they'll be doing backhoe, uh, and different kinds of um, heavy equipment. The instructors have a lot of years of experience. So usually they start with the process. So they see how it's done. And then from there, um, they start doing it, you know, the instructors are always in there with them, so they get one-on-one -on -one, uh, feedback, you know, this is what you're doing wrong, this is what you can do better. So it's, we do different projects, small projects we do in here, outside too. Um, so they get, you know, to practice actual work, how it's done, how to do it better, what not to do, and that's the way to learn uh, construction. Uh, once they reach about 700 hours, they start doing externship. Basically, we are labor, which is the basic uh, starting position for a construction worker. Um, what happens is that sometimes they start the externship and then they come back and they say, you know, this is what we're doing right now and I feel uh, that I, I need um, more training on that or like I feel comfortable doing this, but I don't know this part. So we go back and show them it is important what we are teaching and what we are learning here, but it's also also important, you know, incorporating, you know, the things that we are experiencing in our life, you know, and how to either get away from it or how to, you know, embrace it. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, you know, we are here, it's a big team and we help each other. We work together really well.